What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, we're back with another video. Now, today, 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 I present a very, 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 very important question. Do you guys think Jordan Elliott um, is a good enough starter at the defensive tackle position to start for the Cleveland Browns in this upcoming season? Um, why and we're not? Comment down below how y'all feel about that. As I get into this video, man, make sure y'all hit that like and sub button. It's your boy Will here. Um, I've just been recently started this Browns channel over this previous offseason. Um, I already had another YouTube channel, Will to Go. Um, but this is like my second channel. I try to upload here like five to like four to six times a week, um, even throughout the offseason. But anyways, man, like I said, uh, do you guys feel like Jordan Elliott is a good enough, um, good enough starter? to go in there as a rotational starter piece for the Cleveland Browns. I'm gonna come out on a limp before we get into this video. Um, I hope I'm wrong on my opinion. You know, I hope I'm very wrong. Hope uh, this guy proves me wrong. But I'm gonna say hell no, absolutely not. Um, and my reasons for that is we don't see Jordan Elliott in, multiple, in different schemes. We don't see Jordan Elliott in different scenarios where he needed to step up, where he was the backup. We don't see him in a lot of different ways, and he has never been good. Like let's let's call it what it is, man. Like I understand he's a Jordan, uh, he's a he's an Andrew Berry draftee, and I um, mean we need him to perform, and he's a really good defensive. He's he's a really good player um, as far as coming out of college, but the guy's never been good. Let's call it what it is, man. We got a lot of people like uh, so content with bringing Jordan Elliott in. Um, to start next to Dalvin Thompson, and I just disagree with it. He was one of the worst defensive tackles ranked um, last year. Um, let's look at his PFF grade. I'm not saying PFF is the Bible or anything, but my God, the guy had a 40.4 PFF score, uh, by far one of the worst scores I've seen out of any of these guys I have brought up um, over the last three months. But by far, Jordan Elliott has been one of the worst PFF scores. I mean, he had two sacks, 25 solo tackles. And the good thing about the only good thing about Jordan Elliott is that he's 25, about to be 26 years old. Other than that, man, I don't really see another reason for him to even be on this roster. If we being completely honest, um, I don't, I don't, I think he's a serviceable uh, backup slash practice squad owner. Like he's not making the Eagles roster. Like uh, I feel like he's like I, I doubt he makes the Washington Commanders wash, roster. Um, like teams with good defensive tackles, he's not playing on a team, man. And yeah, we got guys and we got people out here saying like they're comfortable with him starting, but he started last year and looked how that looked. You know, um, I, I'm not comfortable or confident at all having him there just based off of what he has showed us on and off, not off, but on the field. One tape, he has never been good, y'all. Let's like call it spade a spade. I'm I'm here to always be unbiased and be real with y'all, man. Um, you know, I'm a very young mom, but I, I'm very educated and bright for myself. And I have never seen Jordan Elliott. My camera died. But anyways, man, I have not seen Jordan Elliott be good. I'm not confident at all in this defensive tackle group. But hopefully, Dalvin Thomason could be like one and a one and a half. Um, hopefully, that just addition to him being there and maybe Ikea stepping up and hopefully Hurst could stay healthy. I'm not too, like, um, thrilled by bringing back, like, guys, like, uh, like Tommy told you, I should be cut and released. Uh, but anyways, man, I, I try not to be super OD negative when it comes to players. I try to be like giving guys the benefit of the doubt. Um, but I just don't feel like Jordan will change that much with this new Jim Swartz system. He kind of has been where what he's always been throughout his career. Um, this is a guy like, like I said, he's 40 PFF grade, like. Some of the worst stats I've went over out of all the defensive tackles I've looked at. Um, the guys that's currently rostered by the Browns, Jordan Elliott, Tommy Tokyo, some of the worst defensive tackle stats and numbers that you've seen um, in a very long time. I'm um, like, these guys don't look like they should be rostered, but we're starting them. Um, I can see if we had Jordan Elliott maybe as like the third or, or not even third, the fourth defensive tackle coming off the bench. But uh, we're talking about putting him up there with next to Thomas and next to Zadarius. I would honestly rather throw Zadarius Smith out there, run double low Zadarius, Thomas, and Miles. I like the sound of that with JOK Blisson. I really like the sound of that. Uh, rather than I would have, should I rather put Alex Wright or give Alex Wright see what he could do at defensive tackle 
uh, before I think Jordan Elliott is going to be able to be at a starting NFL level player. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm kind of, I'm really low on the guy, if y'all can't tell. I'm not trying to be like, you know, super negative, but I, I don't like sugarcoating it or coming on here and always, you know, being positive. Not saying being positive, I'm always positive, but coming on here and always telling y'all like, hey, we're going to be good. Like, no, nah, man, if we stink, we stink. If a player stink, he stink. If somebody's good, I'm going to give them their credit. Jordan Elias has not shown he's been good. So hopefully this year he could turn it around and hopefully this year we can actually see and, uh, you know, figure out what's going on and maybe Jim Swartz can unlock and, and tap into some of his potential. Um, but I highly, highly anticipate the Browns. Um, Zadarius Smith might help and, you know, uh, but I, I still think we're going to be, I, I'm going to stand on it. I don't think we'll be top 15 in rushing defense um, at all. Um, I feel like that's going to be something that's going to be like um, something we're, we're complaining about by the time week 10 comes. I, I don't think we're going to be top 10 in um, the Russian defense at any point of the season. That's just my opinion on it, just from looking at it from my outside, looking in um, and looking at our personnel. Uh, but maybe Jim Schwartz can not help that. And um, Yeah, but I think a lot of the issues with our, with our defensive tackle room was just talent. I don't think the talent was there. Uh, bringing in Ikea, Tomlinson, and Hurst, I think that's enough for a great additions. I would love to see us get an extra guy just to cover up, to start um, as a vet, you know what I'm saying, just in case Jordan Elliott can't perform or can't produce. But I just don't see a world where, um, you know, he comes out and magically looks like an NFL player, you know. That's my opinion on it. Um, you know, and then especially we, we got to remember, like, a lot of these guys has terrible bad habits learned from Joe Woods. Um, our secondary, our defensive tackles. Um, a lot of people have had bad habits established just because of how bad that defense was last year and how bad that Russian defense was. So they got to undo a lot of those bad habits, like cutting up the field and blowing your, you know, blowing your, what a word am I thinking of? Blowing your hole because you're cutting up and boom, that could race a whole gap for the running back to run through. Like, there's a lot of different bad habits that they came up with. Uh, but we'll see how this preseason go. The next video is going to be talking about the preseason. It's your boy, Will. Make sure y'all hit that like and sub button. Now, hopefully, I wasn't too hard or too uh, critical on this video. Um, but, yeah, I ain't going to fake it to y'all or nothing like that. Remember, we're doing a 1,000 sub giveaway. Um, you know, like, sub, follow me on social. Comment dogs down below. When I hit 1,000, I'm going to pick one of those random comments, and I'm going to send one of y'all to a Browns game like it's Disney World. No, I quit, but I'm out, man. Y'all be safe. Have a great one.